While western Massachusetts was spared Sandy's worst, we're still seeing the effects of the superstorm. 22 News reporter Shannon Halligan explains how businesses here are being impacted. We may not have felt the ocean's waves caused by Sandy, but we are feeling the economic waves. The cleanup from Hurricane Sandy will take months and maybe years. The economic effects may last even longer. New York City may be more than 140 miles away from Western Mass, but the nation's largest city has lost a lot of economic activity, and that will be felt here and around the world. In the metropolitan area, which is 25% of the population, um, it has a major effect on commerce in this northeast block. Um, so it's going to slow everything down. So we're, we're going to see skewed numbers that are going to be sort of weak in the next couple weeks. The disruption of many coastal cities and towns has taken a toll on other other things as well. Some salmon, for example, is flown into New York City and that had to be diverted, causing backups. And fishing boats all along the coast had to be docked. They're anticipating a storm this size especially. Most of your boats will come in and they'll tie, tie up. And when that happens, um, it's going to push prices uh, up down the road because uh, the boats won't be out there uh, fishing. So needless to say, there won't be any product coming in. But there is a silver lining. The massive cleanup may actually help boost the GDP in the U.S. This might be the catalyst that this economy needs to jumpstart it. You know, we've had a lot of government intervention, but this is the first time we're going to see the private sector really picking up. So this could be the catalyst that really makes this economy start to really start to grow next year and the year after. Also, if you've had cell phone problems recently, you're not alone. The storm forced the shutdown of cell phone towers, causing millions of lost calls. Live in the studio, Shannon Halligan, 22 News.